All right, guys, today on this old body style Suburban, we are going to be replacing the window sweep on the rear door. So this is the passenger, this is the driver's side. We're going to do the passenger side as well. This driver's side one is pretty bad. Um, it's not going to take much to have it let go because the problem is it's actually been letting go while the window is being operated. So this comes right off. It snaps in. You can see it's kind of like bowed here just from years and years. And then you got a lot of pollen from trees that have accumulated in here that we're gonna to have to clean up but basically this part is it snaps in and then there's a piece of felt on this side that sweeps the glass when you go up and down and the part number on this from GM is 1599918899 and this has been discontinued for a long long time you will probably not be able to find one so we're gonna to have to go aftermarket on this part now the part I chose to go with has got a number KG2069 and that is a package of a pair because we're going to do both sides and stay tuned if you want to see how to get a side off that's not so loose. But inside of here we've got two of these. Now I went with who I believe to be the primary manufacturer of these, Fairchild. I'll put a link in the description and I'll put some more information rolled down the bottom. But we can kind of see in comparison to the OEM, what we've got design wise is we've got a very similar front shape to the piece that is going to actually snap in. But it's obviously a little different in its height. And on the back side, we've got the felt built in as expected. So it's really just a difference in the height. And that piece there, I don't believe, is going to have anything to do with it securing on. So installation like this is just going to mean pushing this in and snapping it in. But before you do, if you have this situation like I do, where this has been open for a while and accumulated some dirt and some tree pollen, you're going to want to clean that off first so that the new felt is against glass. So we're going to do that first, and then we're going to snap it in. All right, guys, we're just finishing up here. I'm just taking like a paper towel and a putty knife. Just making sure that we get all of this off of here before we put the new one on. Nice squeaky clean glass. And then like I was saying before to put the new one in. We're just going to position it inside the glass area just the way we take it out. So we get it snapped in. Now you could probably speed it up with a little rubber mallet or something like that, but it'll go in just fine like this. And then what we can do is put a little bit of cleaner on here just to address some of the packing material that stuck on the outside. And then we can armor all it good as new. All right, so let's take a look at the passenger side where it's not quite as broken off and it's a little bit more trouble to get it off. All right, guys, so now we're on the passenger side. This one's not as bad, right? So this is typically what you'll probably find where it's a little loose on one side and it's still holding on tight on the other side. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the side that's weak and we're going to use a plastic tool and we're going to begin prizing this up. So we get it to unsnap. And once you get one side off, it's easy to get the, the different side to let go. All right, so same deal as before, right? Same kind of warpage problem. Same part number that we talked about earlier, 159, 91, 899. Our felt is all impregnated, and uh, we just need to clean this off before we put the new one on. So just like last time, we're going to take some vinegar-based glass cleaner. We're going to clean off this accumulated road dirt and tree pollen. And then we're going to install the new one. All right, guys, we've got this one all cleaned off as well now. We're going to take our second of our pair. Again, just line that up in position. Remember, the felt side always faces the glass. I'm going to use a mallet this time just to show you the other technique. Plus, I think this side will be a little bit more difficult to get in, but we're going to get it started by hand. All 
right? So that's what we want to see is we want to see the plastic piece fit down to the crease in the stamping of the door panel. At that point, we've got it in place. And the only other thing I'm going to do on this, I did on the other side already. I'm just going to give it a, a sweep with some armor all to protect it. The kind of armor all I'm using here doesn't have any of that shiny effect. Works out pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll roll the part numbers of this particular aftermarket part that I did, uh, that I went with. I'll also show you some other ones like Dorman that you can go and get this as long with, along with the genuine GM versions if you ever happen to come across it. It's a good Easter egg hunt. So if you got questions about this or you got comments, go ahead and leave them below. I hope this helped you out. If it did, go ahead and hit that like button, especially if I saved you some money here. And as always, thanks for watching.